Hi folks. It's been a little while since I've done one of these, but it seems like the times uh, demand it. This coming Sunday, we are starting up adult education again uh, in person and in this building called a church. Now, the church is not the building, lots of sermons and theology on that, but this building is the place where we have gathered together, that is up until about March 2020. We've gotten fairly used to, after those initial crazy days, of kind of enjoying the convenience and the, and the wonder of church on the couch and uh, streaming services at our convenience and so forth. And for those folks that uh, need to stay home, praise God that that is available. But there is something essential about church face-to-face -face, or body-to-body, -body, I should say. This week we're starting a Sunday School series called Rediscovering Church, put out by Christian Coalition, and they open their resource with a rather provocative statement. A Christian without a church is a Christian in trouble. Wow. Well, um, is that true? Or can we get along as we've gone along over these past 18 months? Well, uh, just a couple of things that I'd like us to think about. One is while, hey, I enjoyed having uh, coffee on the couch and watching uh, myself preach from time to time uh, with Schubert on my lap, but even though it may not be convenient to meet in person, uh, the authors of our church resource say, God does not invite us to church because it's a comfortable place to find a bit of spiritual encouragement. No, he invites us into a spiritual family of misfits and outcasts. He welcomes us into a home that's rarely what we want, but just what we need. You know, ever since Adam and Eve back in the garden, uh, men and women have been misfits and have been dealing with crisis situations. And Adam and Eve were not exactly what they wanted out of each other, given their rebellion, not only against God, but against each other. And it's not just the garden, of course, where things have been difficult. We'll just take one more of these windows. And up here, we've got Moses's mother lowering her little baby into the water because Pharaoh was out to get him. And every other male child. Moses had a lot of reasons to stay away from community, of course. Uh, we get the whole story of him killing an Egyptian soldier and running out into the desert. But then eventually, in the burning bush, and trust me, if you look closely, this is a burning bush, God calls him back to community. Not necessarily the community that uh, he loved, but the community God called him to be a part of. Um, God calls us to the church, not by an invitation that we pay money to show up at the door. God invites us, but it's his table and it's free. So. This Sunday, and I'll, I'll close with this little stroll, we are gathering at the Lord's table. And honestly, uh, given that we are also marking the 20th anniversary of 9-11, there are all sorts of things in this world that are trying to tear us apart. And I could go through that list, but we're basically out of time. 
But 1 Corinthians 12, 7 says this, Now you are the body of Christ, and each one of you is a part of it. So friends, uh, even if you're the little finger and you don't necessarily like the big toe, we are all called to be together and to work together because we are knit together with Christ as the head. So come on out, join us for Rediscover Church, and let's rediscover what this wonderful thing is, this wonderful family is that the Lord has called us to be in. God bless you today.